Hello friends, my name is C. I've been piercing professionally for 10 years, and today we're going to talk about helix piercings. This is going to be a quick video, basics, fundamentals, I can go into a lot more detail than what I will in this video, but I only have so much time. Also, disclaimer, this is information and my own opinion based on my own experiences and the knowledge I've gained over 10 years of piercing. Everyone is different. Let's get into it. So, your cartilage takes quite a while to heal. It's about 9 to 12 months before it's fully healed. I know, it's a journey, it's a journey, but they're cute and it's worth it. There's not a lot of blood flow in cartilage, which is why it takes so much longer to heal than something like a lip or a nose. Um, it just kind of is what it is. <laughs> no hoops, no hoops, okay? Cause a lot of problems. They pull bacteria, they spin, they flip flop very unpredictable. You want to start this piercing with a stud. I know I'm going to get ripped to pieces in the comments, but no hoops. Okay. Maybe you got yours done with a hoop. Maybe it healed fine. Maybe, you know, it was okay. You got lucky. Generally, they cause a lot of issues. You want to have a stud in there until it's fully healed. We always start off with a backing that has a little bit of extra space on it for swelling. Generally with these ones in about a month or so, you can look into getting them shortened, uh, which is typically a pretty good idea because once that swelling is gone that post is really long you can catch it on stuff it moves a lot it irritates it so i would get it downsized that's at the discretion of your piercer everyone heals at different rates so nine to twelve months is a guideline you might heal quicker you might take a little bit longer you have to check in with your piercer but i would try to downsize it as soon as you can okay as soon as it's safe to do so again at the discretion of your piercer <sighs> It's gonna bleed, it's gonna swell, might get a little bru a bruising off and on, that's normal. We poked it, okay? That comes and goes for a few weeks. It's gonna be sore off and on too. This all subsides over time, but it does come and go for a while. The more you move it, the worse it heals. We don't wanna be pushing, twisting, playing with that jewelry at all, even when you clean it. The more you do that, the more it irritates it. You're also introducing bacteria to the site. These are dirty. Keep your hands away from it, okay? No sleeping on it for as long as you can. When you sleep on a piercing, when it's healing, that pressure pushes the jewelry on an angle, can cause it to migrate and heal crooked. When it heals crooked, we can't fix that. We can't do anything about that. Get stuck like that, and sometimes it means you have to completely take it out. So for as long as you can, avoid sleeping on your healing piercing. Be gentle with them. The more you snag them, pull them, catch them, traumatize them, the worse they heal. You have to be gentle, you have to be careful, okay? We want them to heal nicely you have to be nice to them. Aftercare and lifestyle play a huge part in the success of your piercing, so take care of yourself and take care of your piercing. If you have questions, drop them in the comments, I'll answer.